all eyes on one man. A free-scoring performance when last we saw him. How about on this occasion? Stay with us. And hello to you from a city that's never short of style. I'm talking, of course, about the French capital, Paris. We're at the Pac de Pass. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player, Stuart Robson. And we're getting ready for a quarter-final second leg match in the Champions League. It's Paris Saint-Germain facing Barcelona. Well, Derek, if PSG perform as they did in that first leg, they will run away with this tie. But they need to concentrate, play with discipline and still work hard. The Champions League quarter-final second leg commences. And here's how the lineup looks for PSG. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Marquinhos plays alongside Presnel Kimpembe at the back. Idrissa Gay plays alongside Marcelo Brozovic in the centre of midfield. And lining up through the middle in attack today is Kylian Mbappe. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, Derek, last time out, he was absolutely magnificent. Scored all those goals, and the defence just couldn't cope with oh, his... Oh, Stuart, they must score! And collected tidily, he had plenty to think about. Well, this is what we think for Barcelona. Marc-André Ter Stegen in goal. Manuel Akanji plays alongside Clément Langlais in central defence. Frenkie de Jong plays alongside Mateo Kovacic in central midfield. And operating in attack today, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Can he take the chance? And a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. The pressure was high and they could be in here. It's a perfect challenge. Mbappe. Chances on. Can they slot it home? Not trying the chip, but he got the execution all wrong. Well, if he had the chance again, I think he'd choose another option. Not even close in the end. to the advanced position is it going to be wasted chance easy for the goalkeeper well I still can't believe that didn't go in Derek it's a fantastic stop from the keeper you have to say and he's in well, whatever way you slice it a long long way from the target Stuart well a lack of technique and composure there that's a bad miss Kimpembe. That is how to apply the pressure. Messi. But well, they took care of the situation defensively. Mbappe.
Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. by Mbappe, he'll be disappointed really fine initial touch and taken away, he won the ball might be able to get in behind the defence Messi really a very poor ball This could be dangerous. Mbappe. Oh, it might be. And diving to thwart him. corner courtesy of Lionel Messi well the danger is still there and in the end no damage done not to be advised giving the ball away in that position oh really commanding goalkeeping well he needs to be careful here a good and fair challenge the referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. Disappointing pass. And that is that for the first half here in the French capital. PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front. Second and decisive leg of this Champions League quarter-final, and the second half begins. Enrique. And a fine tackle. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. And the keeper there to deal with it. And fired over by Angel Di Maria. Well, the keeper won't be complaining about that corner kick delivery. His ball all the way. Not giving him a moment's peace. Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. Takes it on. Well, the keeper is happy the bar was there. Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. Well, able to survive that attacking push. Well, I have to say, I thought that looked to be going in. It was such a good effort. Committed challenge. Well, just a reminder, we have more live football from Liga coming you. As a go! Oh, and a venomous effort, rattling the crossbar. Well, what a good shot that was. Hit with such power, but it just didn't come down in time.
Substitution it is for PSG. Not much time to make up his mind. Well, more of... Is it going to be? Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Can he convert? Well, he gave it quite the whack, but not on target. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. Giving it a try. And good work to deny the chance. PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front. And he's fired over the corner. He succeeds in clearing it. Firing it towards goal. Well, a powerful effort, but he couldn't quite keep the shot down. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Manuel Akanji. Well, not giving him any breathing room. Can he take the chance? And a goal! He's doubled his total for the day. In superb scoring form! Well, let's take another look. If you lose the ball in those areas, you're going to get punished. And that's exactly what happened there. Well, a second goal for them here. Good technique displayed. But they took care of the situation defensively. Kyle Walker under pressure here. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. And it goes! The lead just gets bigger. Surely they can't let this slip now. Well, here's the replay, and you see it was a good finish. But the keeper at his near post has to do a lot better. He's got to have that near post covered for me. Three goals without reply. Well, he keeps going. Safe pair of hands, did his job. And using his strength to shield the ball. And dispossessed. Di Maria. Di Maria. In it goes! Such a complete performance. Four in front now. Well, here it is again. The through ball is wonderfully executed, but should the keeper be beaten at his near post? I don't think so. He really needs to do better in those situations. A lopsided contest. 4-0. Five minutes left.
Dangerous looking attack. Can he finish this? A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat trick. Well, I don't think he did quite enough there. He got a touch on it, but in the end, he can't keep it out. He won't be happy with that. Oh my goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. They need to get tighter. He's in with a chance. Oh, burying them beneath an avalanche of goals. No let up here. Well, as you can see, he's a dangerous runner with the ball. He has such good balance and pace. That's a top-class goal, isn't it? Some out and out pasting. 6 0. The electronic board has been held in the air, and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. And the referee has decided to award the free kick to PSG. Long way out, this. Well, he had it on target, but it was never going to trouble the keeper. And so the final whistle has sounded, the referee bringing this game to an end. A thoroughly professional job by PSG, who now move on. Well, you can't say they didn't deserve it. They were by far and away the better team over the two legs, and the result was never much in doubt. I'm sure they'll face a sterner test in the next round, but they'll be full of confidence off the back of that performance.